See why I want to ride it to Colorado? This thing is a champ. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And today we're back with the 1983 free Kawasaki GPZ 1100. The big plans is that in about 22 days, we plan to go take this to the Colorado Vintage Motorcycle Show in Erie, Colorado. Let me rephrase that. We plan on riding this 1983 GPZ 1100 2,668 miles to Erie, Colorado from just outside New Orleans, Louisiana. Round trip. Now you may be saying, Eric, is it going to make it? I don't know. But it's going to be damn fun giving it a go. So we've got a laundry list of things to do. Let me show you what we have to do. We've got a laundry list of things to do. As you can see here, all of this stuff needs to be done. Most importantly, make it 2,668 miles. Have some sponsorship opportunities. We're looking for support along the way. But today, we get to start knocking this stuff off the list, right? That's our, that's our plan. We're gonna get through as much as we can today and then we're gonna plow through it tomorrow. Because you guys all know, with these vintage motorcycles, all you do is fix the first thing so you can find out what you have to fix next. So, stay with us, sit back and relax as we plow through that laundry list of things. Okay guys, we're gonna start by putting the battery in because it'll help us. We've gotta sort out the starter button and maybe some lights as we go through that. Plus, I gotta pull off the seat to be able to get to the air filter. And look how good this seat is. By the way, we did a little repair job right there. Check out the video of us repairing the seat. This was just a makeshift wire it's because I was jumping it off a battery uh, jump box and it wouldn't read. Okay guys, we got the battery in, we got it all wired up. We've um, now just putting this on and we'll check to make sure that it, we get power where we should, all of that stuff. So that's one thing off the list. Okay, let me see if I can get this air filter and the, the lid to the air filter in here. This shouldn't be this difficult, Kawasaki. This is a fail. Oh, and it was super easy. Super easy. So this is what I have to do. I have to come to the parts diagram, look it up, looking for 183, and I gotta go back to here, scroll down, find 183. Hopefully there's an image. Sucker, it doesn't have an image. So now we just gotta guess at what it looks like. So let's go over here and hunt for something that we think could look like that. Maybe this one and maybe this one. Let me go check the hole. This is the process. Takes forever. And then we check to see if it fits. Okay, that's on. Okay, now I just gotta see if I can bleed these brakes. Okay, so I've got the bleeder line into the brake fluid here. And now we're just trying to pump the air out of it. It's coming out that way and keep an eye to make sure we don't run out of fluid up here. So this is gonna take us a little while. The one on the left side and then we'll do the one on the right side. Just repeat the process. Slow and steady wins the race. We have brakes, which is good. I'm gonna go through and bleed them again just to make sure because the master cylinder also feeds the anti-dive. So I'm gonna go through and just cycle it again. At least I know, as of right now, we got brakes. Good job. I found out that the starter button's good. Solenoid's bad, so. We've got one here. I went through the I went through the, the drawer of wonders. I don't know about you guys, but I don't throw anything away. Coils, solenoids, things like that. I keep them because, well, I test them and then I keep them. Same thing with wires. 
because you never know when you're gonna need the right color wire. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can fit this aftermarket solenoid. We're gonna jump it to make sure it works and then we'll make it permanent. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and pull this sucker off. This is probably the, the OG solenoid on here. Solenoid, solenoid, how do you say it? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you say it with an SI solenoid or do you say it with a SOL, S-O-U-L, solenoid? Let me know. So I want to make sure I'm doing it right. Or it's kind of a potato, potato, tomato, tomato. So let me know. Solenoid or solenoid? Again, solenoid. Solenoid, solenoid. Let me know. Let's put this guy back in. Okay. Now, before I get too crazy on buttoning that up, I'm just going to do a little jumper. I'm going to do a jumper on this one. And then our other jumper wire. Let's see. Hey, that'll work. Guys, we're going to use these connectors here. This is a, a great little kit you can get on Amazon or eBay. And they've got like factory multiple. I think it goes up to nine. Uh, pin connectors, so it really works out great when you're going to put these things together. I mean you can You can make them look a little more Factory-esque Okay, so we got the first one done and now we're gonna put the other ends on the other one do the other one Plug it in. It'll look way better than just using some some wire nuts or even the little bullets that you get the hardware at the hardware store the auto parts store this whole what is squirting out at me? Watch this. Is that a fuel leak? That is. That's the worst place to have a fuel leak. Let me see if I can fix that. Okay, crisis averted. We, we had forgot to put a clamp on the fuel line right there. And uh, now we have a clamp on it. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, let's see if it works. Move some of this stuff off the seat. Just drop this here. Pass that on. Key on. Fuel pump on. See why I want to ride it to Colorado? This thing is a champ. It's awesome. Let's mark this sucker off the list. So, starter button solved. Check. Awesome. Now let's move on to, let me put this switch back together now that we know that it works. I'm glad I only had to fix it once. And I'm glad I thought to look at the solenoid to see if that was it. Solenoid? Solenoid. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, guys. We got the controls back together. I do have to, right now. Come on, that thing sounds awesome. And it starts right up. It's still on the fast idle until it warms up. These bikes were notoriously uh, needed to warm up a bit, so you gotta leave them on the fast idle. Everything I've read, that's what it says, but and the fast idle's right here. So, we're awesome. Now we just gotta get, we need the sprocket. We need the sprocket to come in, and then we're good. And that's it, man. We're killing this. We're moving, moving right along. I've got to sort out headlights. That's next. We got to sort out headlights. We already have um, brake lights, which is good. We brake lights. We have run lights, and I got to figure out why my blinkers are on all the time. But other than that, our gauges work. You can see we only have 5,400 miles on this thing. And everything else works pretty good. So we'll figure out the rest of our stuff 
figure out if any of these lights actually work and come on I think I plugged that thing back in yeah look we've got a fuel gauge it says we have that much gas so let's see if that goes off I didn't even looked at it yep so when it comes on checks it does the check all the way through everything's good none of these warning lights are on so watch if we do it with the like see side stand you get a little warning side stand oil lights good batteries good make sure it's up all the way yeah it goes off that's pretty cool so this stuff in here is working everything's working my fuel gauge is working everything's working around nice little warning light up here works um, I think the neutral yeah neutral light works I need to get my turn signals to come on and we're good so we'll keep working at it one more thing off the list okay we're at although you can't see it the brake switch is right here brake switch is right there and it seems to be missing maybe you can get it right here seems to be missing one of these okay you guys keep an eye back there let me just stick this pick in this switch and see if it actually works hey switch still works we don't need to change it okay let me just okay I got the new spring in there so now if you look at the tail light we're all good now another one off the list we have uh, brake lights front and rear but guys there we go we made progress we got the battery in we got the air filter in which doesn't seem like much but it was a big deal we've got uh, the starter button working uh, actually it was a solenoid so we replaced that solenoid solenoid so we master cylinder we got the front brakes bled we got the brake switch front and rears working um, so yeah we made big progress today as always thanks for watching yet another episode of motorcycle rewind do me a favor like tag share and follow us on instagram and hit the subscribe button do me a favor follow our buddies Brickhouse Builds, Gold Guy, Moto Mango, Ace Cafe Bikes, Mile Zero Racers, and Plan B Motos. Give them a subscribe too. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day.